Atlanta child murder suspect Wayne Williams has a new attorney and she's talking exclusively with 11 alive. Williams is in prison convicted of murdering two men presumed guilty of murdering at least 24 children. Nearly 40 years after his conviction, the investigation is now back open, but his attorney told our Caitlin Ross they still don't have any answers. Janice Mann just sat down with Wayne Williams in prison, and she says they talked for three hours about his case. And she says he cried, talking about how the families of the children murdered in Atlanta in the 70s and 80s still don't have closure. Jimmy Howard looked up to Wayne Williams in the 80s. He still does. He's a guy that you would want to be your brother, your uncle, your dad. He's a great guy. Howard started an R&B group with Williams in the months before he was arrested and says the accusations against his friend and mentor are an old tune. You know, it's just like listening to a, uh, you hear so much, it becomes a hit song. So it gets in their mind, you know, but until they sit down and really get into this case, what took place, they understand it better. Attorney Janice Mann didn't know much about Wayne Williams when she was asked to represent him. I was absolutely stunned by the lack of evidence that convicted him. And it took me a little while to understand the theater in the community, um, the political and social atmosphere that existed at that time. In 1981, Williams was convicted of murdering two grown men, but at trial, prosecutors told the jury he was responsible for the deaths of dozens of children, even though he was never charged. We start with the facts. Where are the facts? Where is the evidence? Former Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms reopened the investigation into those child murders in 2021. Atlanta police sent two DNA samples to a specialized testing facility in Utah. But 16 months later, Mann says she can't get answers about what those tests found. We have no answers from the city of Atlanta or from the district attorney's office. I asked the city, Atlanta police, and the district attorney's office about the samples, and they told me so far no official report is available. Mann thinks Wayne Williams and the families of those kids have already waited too long for justice. My goal is to make sure that the truth comes out, that these families do receive answers and they do receive closure and that he doesn't die in prison waiting for his name to be cleared. Wayne Williams was denied parole in 2019. He'll next be eligible in November of 2027. That's still five years away.